big day big night and of course bigger things to worry about of course we're going to talk about the incomings and outgoings from arsenal we're also going to talk about something really special about the first formal bid from arsenal fiorentina have said arsenal how much they would want and how much money arsenal should offer that fiorentina will say yes so that Dusan Vlahovic comes to Arsenal. Do you think that we are out of race for Dusan Vlahovic? Well, I couldn't give two Fs for that kind of behavior and of course that kind of negative mentality. But hey, never give, uh, never give up at all. So apparently let's talk about, uh, according to a source named Nabil Jeliet, he says, he's actually a journalist from France, he says that Arsenal are interested in signing Arthur from Juventus. He just doesn't say it. He literally tweeted that out and I think, yeah, he just said it. So we got we got to give him some some sort of, uh, you know, uh, respect to saying that. So, yes, uh, Nabil Jalit says that, yes, Arsenal are interested. He says that uh, Arsenal are interested in Juventus versatile midfielder Arthur. The 25-year-old has made four appearances with Juventus this season. That's what he tweeted out, Nabil Jalit. But we move on because we've got something really concrete coming up. So Udinese have opened talks with Arsenal to sign Pablo Mari on loan. Udinese are prepared to cover part of his salary to have Mari on loan, DiMarzio reports. No buy option included. It will be a straight loan. Negotiations ongoing according to Fabrizio Romano. So pa Pablo Mari, a dry loan, simple as that as things stand and nothing more to it. And Di Marzi also says that a final agreement is expected to be reached between Arsenal and Udinese in the coming hours. Deal very close, loan without obligation or option to buy. So it's pretty much clear. Pablo Mari is going out of Arsenal. That's all I can tell you for now. Yes, they had started talks, but then they said that yes, they're about to reach uh, the all uh, the bigger agreement that is supposed to be reached and things will be done. So Arsenal complete their first signing in this January transfer window. Arsenal have completed the signing of 16 year old left back Lino da, da, da Cruz Sousa from West Bromwich Albion. The left back who is part of who is part Brazilian played two years, uh, you know, uh, above his age group from for West Bromwich uh, Albion's under 18s last season and has been earmarked as a potential star for the future by those within London. Colney. Now he's an athletic fullback who reads the game well and has a lovely left foot. Very interesting player, very clever in his movement. So he's good. The kind of player that Arsenal have signed, probably uh, an heir to Thierry Henry. We don't know. Arsenal are building a very young squad and of course a very young academy. So you know what is their plans. They've really hired good kind of, uh, you know, um, talent spotters as well. So we just move along as if um, you know yeah let's talk about other news well Bordeaux have exiled Lauren Koscielny for from the first team squad and stripped him of captain's armband surprise surprise <laughs> moving on let's talk about Seo Kolasinac so Fabrizio Romano tweets out that Arsenal are prepared to let both Seyad Kolasinac and Pablo Mari leave this month Udinese are working to sign Mari on straight loan. Olympic Marseille have approached Kolasinac. Talks on to sign him right after Bakambu deal. If it's a, Bakambu is a done deal. Right after that, Marseille will go for Kolasinac. Well, Sampaoli wants every Arsenal play, uh, player that is not in Arsenal's plans. So, that's that. We'll take it. We'll take it. Thank you so much, Jorge Sampaoli. Moving on, let's uh, also, uh, you know, uh, talk about... Uh, yeah. The coach's voice, they say uh, something about Vlahovic. They say that uh, he has desire to score goals, impressive upper body strength, intelligent movement to create space, capable of various types of finish, thriving as a striker in Fiorentina's 4-3-3. They're impressed with what they've seen of Dusan Vlahovic. But let's talk about Obama Yang. What, what update do we have about Obama Yang? Is he moving out of Arsenal? If we are talking about Vlahovic, Coming in and Ketia moving out, Lacazette being offered a two-year deal. What happens to Aubameyang? Well, good question. So, uh, Di Marzio says, in recent days, Aubameyang has been proposed to Juventus, but a final decision has not been taken. Juve, however, want to make an investment in Skamaka or Vlahovic in the summer. So, apparently, uh, Aubameyang has been offered his... his, his, his yeah, his, his Arsenal career is over as things stand. So, Flamengo vice president on Pablo Mari, he says he's not considered 
because he has no desire to return to Brazil. So it's pretty much there. Mari wants to stay in Europe. So another another day, another crazy time, and of course another day of telling you some crazy transfer news. One of them is Bernd Leno to Galatasaray. So some reports in Turkish media claim Galatasaray are trying to sign Bernd Leno from Arsenal. What? What? Why? Why would you say something like that? I just did. I just did. You can do whatever you want with it. So I just did. <laughs> Moving on. So let's talk about some. Uh, uh, yeah, some some small news. Um, we we spoke about Bern Leno. Yes. So here's a here's a from A Spore. This news is that Galatasaray have approached Arsenal regarding the acquisition of Bern Leno. They they would be paying around sixteen. 1.6 million euros and Arsenal are reportedly open to the transfer. 16 million euros, which is which is 13.5 million pounds for Leno, for from Galatasaray. That is a crazy, crazy bit of deal. Would you think? Would you? Would you let Burn Leno leave in the January transfer window? Do you think that Burn Leno should stay or should he leave? What do you think? Or is that a good price that Arsenal should take for Burn Leno? Let's move on to the yes. Let's let's address the elephant in the room. So. According to Sky Sport, uh, no, no, no. As according to Gazeta IT, Arsenal to are ready to make formal 70, 70 million euros bid for to Fiorentina for Dusan Vlahovic. But there's another update to this. Fiorentina have reportedly told Arsenal. According to CBS Sports, Fiorentina have reportedly told Arsenal they would be happy to include Lucas Torreira permanently in any deal for Dusan Vlahovic if they pay 61.5 million euros, which is 51.3 million pounds in cash so 51.3 million pounds in cash plus lucas torreira will be fine and fiorentina will not will not ask even a penny more and arsenal can have do some love which well of course it totally depends upon a personal terms to be agreed and of course arsenal need to convince the player for the project but out of nowhere i'm listening uh, uh, to certain uh, reports that you know fabio paratiki wants uh, do some love which they also uh, they also have uh, you know uh, want a midfielder so they would want to get Bruno Guimaraes as well. I don't get it. Why 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 would Tottenham want our players? That, that just just does not make any sense. So I have no clear cut idea about it. Why they are getting linked with our targets? But whatever it is, it is. So let me know in the comments. Uh, do you have any idea about the new left back that we've signed, Lino Sousa? Let me know if you have if you have any information about him. Also, Pablo Mari to Odinese, so we have shot a centre back, which is for now okay. We have signed a backup left back, uh, probably for the academy. Leno going to Galatasaray, yeah, it's it's shocking out of nowhere. And of course, Arsenal getting definitely. I think we might get a permanent midfielder, also a, a, a midfielder on loan. Well, if I were to ask you which midfielder would you take on loan, I, I'll I'll give you two options: Arthur Melo or Genie Wijnaldum. Who would you take on loan? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers. Don't forget to comment Arthur Melo on loan or Genie Wijnaldum. Who would you take?